Hello. So we are back Thursday, and uh, we have a job coming back. I don't know how how to feel about that, because this is the first job which is coming back from the point I started uh, our online business. So I should be sad. I should be happy because it's the first one. I don't know. Anyway, this laptop was before, and I made a video about this laptop. If you remember the the video. If you don't remember, it's this one, yeah? It's the same laptop, and the problem was the charging port, if you remember. We replaced the charging port. Now the laptop come back. I done a bad job, I don't know. We will have to see together, okay? So what is happening? Basically, if we are plugging the charger, the, the, the feelings, my feelings are a little bit mix, uh, mixed up because... Uh, it's the first one, which is coming back, you know? So we are plugging the charger and uh, pressing the power button and nothing happened. Yeah? We, we have no light, like charging light or nothing. It's just dead. Okay? So let's open the laptop. The laptop doesn't have any screw. I have an open. I don't know nothing. But I can see here are no screws. So let me try to leave the cover, if I can, yeah. So that's the laptop inside. Here is the port that I replaced, right? Yeah. Let's see, from any comeback job, like, you know, it's coming back, you fix it and it's coming back, it's something to learn. Even if you've done a mistake, that's fine. Everyone is doing mistakes. Now, first, what I will check will be the charger, right? Now, let's check the charge. We have the multimeter on screen. 20 volts. Let's see. And the charger is good. It has 19 volts, you can see on the screen. 19. Now, let's plug the charger. And the next logical step is to check the voltage on the board, right? So, on the board, we have... 19.1 you can see on the screen so it's kind of strange that's mean my job is fine let's see the main power rail main power rail mm. main power rail is zero okay so it is possible this port will not be soldered properly that's why I'm, I'm i want to see the main power rail that's the reason okay here we have a screw because if main main power rail is present that means now my, my charging port is good right oh wait we have the first two mosfets here this one yeah so let's see we have 19 volts, you can see on the screen. So clearly, this comeback job is not under the warranty, yeah? Because the warranty was for the charging port. And the charging port is fine. What can I do? Do you want me to replace again the charging port? I will do it, but a lot of it will not work, yeah? So, uh, yeah. Okay, let's have a look. So, our charging port is soldered properly there, yeah? Good. Good. So, the main power rail is present. Let's see. It is present, yeah, here. What about on the output of this one? And the output of this one is zero, you can see. So, this is our first MOSFET. This is our second MOSFET. So, first MOSFET, we have input. We don't have output. The gate, the gate should be positive, yeah? And we have zero volts. So no voltage on the gate of the first MOSFET. Now, what do I want to check? I want to unplug the charger, unplug the battery, and let's check together the output of the second MOSFET, because if it's shorted, then it's normal to not be voltage here. Here. 
So the output of the second MOSFET, check on the, check on the screen, 0 0.07. So the main power rail is shorted. Okay? Now the question is, why the main power rail is shorted? And that's a good question. How do we, how we are checking something like that? Power supply, thermal camera, because I don't want to burn my fingers, but the thermal camera is not mandatory. You can do it, like in the way I made it so many years, yeah? You come with the current and you try to tap with your hand and find actually where is the short, yeah? So you will be starting pushing some current into the short. When you push current into a short, something it will get hot, yeah? That's a fact. Okay, so let's see, we're pushing some current here, and let's see, the, the resistance of the short, hmm. Hmm. it's like an average, let's see, do you spot anything obvious? What is there? What is there? Huh? Under the bias chip, right? Here. Uh, on the other side of the board, I think it's on the other side of the board. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't, I don't understand, I have a thermal camera, I still burn my fingers. Yeah, 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 yes. Okay, let's uh, let's have a look together. Wow, just wow. So yeah, the conclusion is, even if you have a thermal camera, you will still burn your fingers. Yeah, that capacitor looks dodgy already. <clears throat> yeah, so I'll come with some current. So power on, and you can see that capacitor is burning hot, like burning hot. Yeah, so you see, even with the thermal camera, you'll still burn your fingers. That's the conclusion. I mean, I'm dodgy. No, no, no. Listen, you, you tell me. Oh, so you're dodgy. Look here. Two capacitors are missing. You know what? When, 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 the, when the manufacturer is so dodgy, I can't even be dodgy. So I cannot leave this power supply without a capacitor. You know what I mean? I cannot be. I cannot be that dodgy. If it was like there, like you see, are free... Uh, three places for capacitors, so must be three capacitors, and the, the, the dodgy manufacturer just fit only one, you know? Well, yeah, Sorin is dodgy because he's removing a capacitor. So, uh, on this point, we have no other option than replace the capacitor. Because the manufacturer is too dodgy. And he removed by the factory the other two capacitors. Perfect. Now the question is the job is done. That's a good question. Wow, it's still hot. Let's wait to cool down. That's fine. Let's plug the battery. Now let's plug the charger. And we have light here. We have a blue light here. There. And you have a keyboard backlight. I see the laptop is coming on. 
I mean, we didn't reset the BIOS. Oh yeah, it is working. It is no hard drive, but the job is done. Yeah, the battery is low. Okay, so this is the most uh, classic fault. Pressing the power button when uh, actually you have a shorted capacitor. It's easy. You don't really need a skill and uh, it's simple. Okay, so I'll stop now. I'm, uh, I'm happy, you know, uh, a return job, which is not my fault. Yeah, so I done the job properly. The charging port is holding fine, but actually it was a different fault. So I'll say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.